Oh yeah, and it's the weak point now. It's in my mind. Oh really? Well, outside of like the cool cupboards, like I would leave the cupboards because I think they're awesome. It, it, some people don't like them. Some people really do. Was it a built-in china cabinet type deal? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. Um, and that is all knotty pine too. It's not. Uh, it's not fake. Oh sweet. And so, uh, some people have told me, oh, my, not your pine is cheap, and other people say, no, it's no, expensive. It's, well, if you want the fake stuff, it's cheap. Yeah, you <laughs> got, you get, it's hard. It's, <laughs> it's a little extra money. Um, so where do, you, where do you think we should go from here? Um, actually, let's go this way. Okay. And back through. Sweet. I'll just kind of follow you. Or... You know what that reminds me of? Um, back in the day, the deaf and mute, they'd wear one of these mm -hmm. around there. Mm-hmm. Right <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. Oh, yeah, anyway. Could be, I don't know. Could be. It's a gun rack, and wow! So this place is, comes furnished. Looks like that was well. Question. And once well, again, who I mean, knows? Would who knows? Yeah. Probably depend on what you want, but overall, it's tough for me to believe they're gonna take any, anything that's left. Especially in their. Because no, nobody's that I know of in the family lives anywhere near Endicott anymore. Good so. God, yeah. I, you know, it, it makes you wonder, you know, makes you want to plan your life out so you don't end up, you know, leaving a big Leaving mess. something like this just out there. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> gosh. Uh, my, my family has a bunch of property scattered. I, I'm going to just consolidate it if I ever get the chance. Get one one nice prop, piece of property and that's it. Not have to deal with running around. Stretched out everywhere. Yeah, now this, this is kind of... Oh yeah, she told me she got off the track there. But that's I just leave it that way. So I would replace that anyway. You know, it's it's an attention grabber, but who cares? You know, look, you, the, the person that's gonna buy this is not gonna give a crap in the long run. Stuff yeah. like this. I mean, you probably sell a lot of stuff in Pullman where everything's all perfect, perfecto, yeah. and or new new construction. Yeah. yeah. And there's certainly people that's what they want. And it's like okay. Probably the construction in general in Pullman is you're going to be right on top of your neighbor. Exactly. Their lots are so little small. There's no room to breathe. Privacy and acreage and <laughs> the big house for cheap. You know, there's going to be a little little love involved. I actually deal a lot in, in uh, foreclosure markets, even though we're not a foreclosure county. Uh -huh. We do have foreclosures, and I deal with a lot with Fannie Mae. I see. So I'm used to seeing places that, uh, yeah, like everything, fixtures, appliances, toilets. Everything's been yanked out of the house. You walk in and go, well, this was a nice house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, where does this door lead to? That goes straight out to the back. Um, I'm okay. I'm bedding. It's taped off. So right, it's taped off. Um, so there's two back doors. There's the one that, that kind of came into like the entry hallway. Uh-huh. And then that one, there's kind of side by side. I bet they put that one in for pool purposes. Oh. So when they were out, you know, kids were change. Out of pool, they oh. could quickly go into the bathroom from the outside. Right, exactly. That makes a good, yeah, you know, it's like a little change room. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to tell my folks, you know, if, if they do decide on it and they're contenders and stuff, then they should just. You know, re resell a lot of this stuff as antiques, you know, if they don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> the last that we see the bell, it's on top of the garage. Good guy. Yeah. Actually, I say, I'm like, what? As an antique in an antique store, I bet an antique dealer is going to want $1,000 just for that bell. Probably. <laughs> looks like there's a blower on there. Blower, all set up, yeah. Wow. And this carpet is... As you can see, they where they vacuumed it and stuff, but obviously it's been it's a been long used. time. Yeah, and it's old carpet, but it actually, as I step on it, yeah. I step on a lot of carpets in newer homes. It feels pretty, it's pretty frisky. Plush, yeah, you know? yeah. So it wasn't cheap carpet. No, it's it's thick. It's like walking on a toadstool or something. That's what it feels like, like a powder puff or something, you know. Nice. A lot. Some of the windows I like to see reworked and done, but honestly, all of these picture windows. Oh yeah. Are pretty nice. They definitely that's heavy glass and they're double pane. So what would you say that? Touch those. <laughs> what would you say the vintage is on windows like on that? On the windows like that. The seventies. Yeah, say say 60s, 70s. Sixties. Yeah. Seventies. Wow. Is that the one of the main? Is that the front door per se? Could be the front door. I usually access via the other door. I see. Yeah, by the garage. Yeah. Cause that just seems to make more sense. You got the breezeway there, though. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I noticed looking at the photos, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, or try to understand where the front is, you know, per the se. The front and back, yeah. yeah, but when you don't really have a, a road yeah. 
you know, where you're kind of, <laughs> kind of trying to angle, you know, it's just like, well, whichever door happens to be the easiest. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Huh, so you'd call this what, the den? The, um, the, I'd call this the living room. The living room, okay. And this is actually an enormous dining room. Okay, wow. I hate carpet in dining rooms, personally. Yeah, well, I'm not a big fan of carpet, period. Uh, no way. Entirely honest. Heck no, it's just a big diaper, if you ask me. Really? What's that? It's just a big diaper, if you ask me. Yeah. I can't I agree clean it. It's very difficult to clean. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> it's just out of maintenance. Give me a hardwood floor, even a vinyl floor. Hardwood, vinyl. I don't even Wood. mind nice looking linoleum. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just because I know it's like, I mean, bulletproof. You just right. can't get into it. I love tile. I love good tile. Oh yeah, so that's tile. my my parents have a Spanish tile type deal. Okay, then I guess this is the end of the. Well, and then let's oh, go upstairs though. Oh yeah. Well, I'm in the end of the ground floor. Yeah, this is it. Okay. The ground so this floor. is. I mean, there is a big closet down behind this door here. Yeah. Oh, let's check that out. Cause that's the first thing my folks will say. We well, didn't check the closet out. Well, there's plenty. Well, actually, there's another one down here that we didn't open up. And that's a uh, cedar. Oh. Yeah, to tell you the truth, I've never seen a, this much property and house and outbuildings of things for this price. For this price, no, it's ridiculous. The price. This is a giveaway price. I mean, at two twenty nine, I thought it was a good deal. I was amazed. Yeah. I couldn't get somebody to come in and buy it, but it was the financing issue. I did tell you about that. On the yeah, market. you said it was agricultural. It, right now, it's zoned agricultural open space for tax purposes. So, but I have the paperwork to change it. Necessary. I see. I just don't want to. <laughs> yeah, you know, that, I mean, for a short sighted, yeah, it's great, but long term, you're going to be here 40 years. That's terrible. <laughs> yep. There's a pole back there. So, what would you call this, like, one of the. This is a bedroom. Is it it's not the master bedroom? No, I would actually consider this one at the end, probably the master. Wow, what a view. Sit out here and watch your folks frolic around. Yep. <laughs> That's a. Kind of weird closet, kind of yeah, step down closet. <laughs> Never seen one of those. Wow. Well, is there any uh, secret annexes or anything like that? Like any secret? You know, like, like maybe something. Not that I found. Yeah. No. Nope. Sometimes you have seen a few houses like that. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> huh. Sir's bath. Which overall isn't very good except for the floor. Right. And I'm not a big fan of wallpaper, but that's actually not bad. <laughs> well, yeah, in this steamy place, it's, it's, you know, it's kind of, and I was thinking Vent Fan, or is it one? Vent Fan, you know, for steam. Mm, yeah, and that's tough, because there might not be there's one. Always, they always leave that crap out, or they retrofit a place for Or, sure. I mean, the number of times that I see, even in Pullman, anywhere, that the inspector will call out that the Vent Fan exhausts into the attic. Right. Every single place. People get all worried about it, I'm like, you know. <laughs> What's well, going to vent in your room? Really, really, it really doesn't cost that much to fix that, so don't worry about it. Two, it's really not that big of an issue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but not having the event fan is probably an issue. Yeah. Huh. Oh, well. You know, like, I'm I not mean, getting. I'm once not, again, it's just not that. It's, they, didn't, they didn't have showers back in the day. It was all tubs. Yeah. You know, yeah. So. Wow. This is pretty ornate. So this must be the master bedroom. Nope. It's not. I huh? still consider the, the room on the other side actually the master bedroom. Wow. So this is just another bedroom. All the bedrooms are huge. I mean, they're big. There isn't a small bedroom. Oh, and you know, this, actually there is a register there. Okay. I was gonna say, this is the one room that maybe has electric heat, but that actually is a four stair register. Okay. So if you do look look at the all the rooms upstairs, they uh -huh. do have four stair registers coming Sweet. from the, the oil furnace downstairs. Okay. Which is rare in this area. Number yeah. Of, number of farm homes I walk into and there's no heat upstairs. It's almost all of them. And it's a huge problem because lenders won't lend. Yeah. There's some mice crap and junk down there. Sure. Oh, yeah. You know, that's just part, yeah, of, the, part of the rustic one, one's again, appeal, right? When you have a vacant house this long, I'm just surprised there isn't more damage. Good God, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oops. No, these glasses belong on my head, but they're kind of rough with the hat. Let's see. So out here is a view of brambles. And yeah. The hill, unkept hillside. <laughs> Well, at least you're having fun, you know, <laughs> oh, yeah. talking about this place. I mean, no, I yeah. Love, I mean, I love the house. Oh, yeah. I do. I think it's just cool. What, what would keep you from buying a place like this? Just, uh, just this the album distance, building. probably. 